Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for campaign management. So, let's get started. Question number one, what is client servicing? The answer is, companies that have a high customer retention rate understand the importance of customer service. This is the process of establishing and sustaining a positive business relationship with each customer. Understanding the wants and desires of the client, and working to address those requirements in a proactive manner, is sometimes referred to as customer care. Question number two, explain branding concept. The answer is, the phrase brand refers to a commercial and marketing idea that allows consumers to recognize a specific firm, product, or person. Brands are intangible, meaning they cannot be touched or seen. As a result, they aid in the shaping of public impressions about businesses, their products, and persons. Question number three, what are the advertising strategies? The answer is, some of the best advertising strategies are Target your audience Personal branding Search engine optimization SEO Pay-per-click PPC Ads Native ads Social media marketing Email marketing Affiliate marketing Question number four, define laddering The answer is Depending on the business, the term laddering is used in a variety of ways in finance Retirement planning and the underwriting of new securities issuance are two of its most common applications. Question number five, what are the benefits of laddering? The answer is, the ladder ensures that the practical and emotional benefits of the product or service are in sync and credible. A brand benefit ladder can be utilized to develop more distinctive and emotionally resonant marketing communications once it is completed. Question number six, explain campaign planning. The answer is, a campaign plan is a strategy for achieving a certain goal on a wide scale over a long period of time. It frequently coordinates a wide range of operations and resource allocations across multiple organizations. A campaign strategy may include secondary objectives or intermediate milestones, and it is frequently divided into phases. Question number 7, Define Aerial Advertising The answer is, Aerial advertising is the employment of logos, manned aircraft, or drones to manufacture deliver, or display advertising media. Static media, such as a banner, logo, lit sign, or sponsored branding, can be used. Question number 8, what is search engine optimization? The answer is, the process of boosting the quantity and quality of website traffic by enhancing the visibility of a website to users of an online search engine is known as SEO. SEO is the process of obtaining visitors from search engines organic, editorial, or natural search results. Question number 9, what are the most effective methods for increasing website traffic? The answer is, the most popular and effective ways to increase traffic to your website are, include relevant keywords in your content, create memorable content, write guest posts, keep active social media pages, use advertising to increase website traffic, send email newsletters. Question number 10, define gray hat optimization. The answer is, Gray Hat SEO is neither black nor white, but rather a mix of the two. It's a shift from black to white SEO strategies, as well as from white to black SEO techniques. Question number 11. Describe PPC, pay-per-click, marketing. The answer is, advertisers pay the publisher, website owner or host of the website, when the ad is clicked in pay-per-click advertising. Question number 12. What is Google AdWords remarketing? The answer is, Google AdWords remarketing is a targeted marketing approach that allows marketers to contact consumers who have previously visited their website but did not complete a purchase. Remarketing allows you to reach the appropriate people with the right message at the right time. It aids conversion rates by allowing previous site users who are already familiar with your brand to effortlessly convert into prospective buyers. Question number 13. What is the best strategy for running successful PPC campaigns? The answer is, the best strategies for running successful PPC campaigns are Increase the number of PPC keywords to broaden your reach To improve your click-through rate, center, divide your adverts into smaller chunks Examine any PPC keywords that aren't performing well Refine landing pages to make them more relevant to search queries By including negative keywords in your campaign, you may make it more relevant Question number 14, how can you increase your conversion rates? The answer is, 
conversion rates can be improved by experimenting with different website features, particularly on a landing page. On landing pages, you can also play around with functionality, layout, and aesthetics. Question number 15. How can you use social media to promote your business? The answer is. To reach your marketing and branding goals, social media marketing entails developing and sharing content on social media networks. It entails a variety of actions such as sharing photographs, movies, and other content that encourages audience participation. Increase website traffic, increase conversions, raise brand exposure, and improve communication and interaction with target audiences using social media marketing. Question number 16. Describe the relevance of CTR and how you calculate it. The answer is, CTR stands for click-through rate, which is the number of people who visit your website page to see your promotion. CTR is calculated by multiplying the number of snaps by the number of impressions. Question number 17. What is conversion optimization and how does it work? The answer is, conversion optimization is the process of determining how a website's visitor-to-customer ratio may be increased. A conversion occurs when a site visitor completes a targeted activity rather than simply browsing content and exiting. A-B testing, which compares two web pages with different designs or content to see which generates more conversions, is one technique to improve conversions. Question number 18. How can you quickly increase internet traffic to a website? The answer is. Using social media to promote your website with postings that link back to it is a great strategy to get more visitors in a shorter amount of time. Promotions, prizes, sweepstakes, and other entertaining, time-sensitive items can also be beneficial postings. Additionally, creating leads through online public relations activities, such as answering questions as a subject expert or writing a news release for online dissemination, are effective ways to swiftly increase traffic. Question number 19. What are the characteristics of positioning models? The answer is, the characteristic of positioning models are. Positions occur along with parameters that are important to the customer and are essentially selected by the customer. Positions are not simply the product facts, but they approximate them. The positions in the market are usually oriented toward the market leader. Question number 20. What is AMP? The answer is. The acronym AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. It's a joint endeavor between Twitter and Google to create quick mobile pages. AMP is an open source library that aids in the creation of a web page that is lightweight and quick to load. It allows marketers and publishers to develop mobile friendly web pages that work across multiple platforms and are compatible with all browsers. Question number 21 What's the difference between branding and direct marketing? The answer is When it comes to branding, the advertiser must expose his brand to websites and apps with a larger audience reach. YouTube advertisements, display target ads, Bespoke ads, and remarketing are the most well known ways. In direct marketing, the advertiser is primarily interested in creating communication with his target audience using various mediums such as emails, mails, brochures, catalogs, flyers, and so on. The main distinction is that branding is used to raise awareness, but direct marketing allows businesses to communicate directly with their customers. Question number 22 Explain Black Hat SEO? The answer is. To achieve high rankings, it takes advantage of several flaws in the search engine's algorithms. Search engines have specified SEO criteria, and Black Hat SEO does not follow them. Keyword stuffing, link spam, hidden text, and hidden links are examples of Black Hat SEO practices. You can expect unpredictably rapid but short-term rankings growth if you use these strategies. Question number 23. Define White Hat SEO? The answer is. It is the most widely used SEO methodology, which employs tactics and procedures to boost a site's search engine ranks while remaining compliant with search engine standards. High quality content, link acquisition, website HTML optimization, and reorganization are all examples of white hat SEO strategies. You may expect long-term development in your rankings if you use white hat SEO. Question number 24. What's the difference between on-page and off-page search engine optimization? The answer is, on-page SEO actions are used to control website traffic by changing the pages on the site. On-page optimization tasks include things like optimizing a website's structure, interlinking, page load time, title tag, and meta description. Off-page SEO activities are jobs that are done to boost a website's online presence and exposure. Creating contextual backlinks, 
social media marketing, likes or shares, guest blogging, and question and answer websites, Quora, are all examples of tasks. It's all about identifying relevance in SEO. Question number 25, what exactly is a quality score? The answer is, quality score is a measure of how well your advertising, keywords, and landing pages are performing. Ads of higher quality can result in lower costs and better ad placement. In an ad auction process, the quality score is utilized to establish CPC and then multiplied by the maximum bid to determine the ad rank. Question number 26, where can keywords be used to drive more traffic to a website? The answer is, keywords can be found in a number of locations, including Title of the web page URL of a website Description, Meta Content on the website Headings Question number 27, what are Webmaster Tools and how can I use them? The answer is, Google Webmaster Tools is a collection of internet tools designed to assist website owners in making their sites Google-friendly. These tools can be used to get information about incoming search traffic, ask Google to crawl and index a website, examine crawl error reports, and so on. Question number 28, define viral marketing. The answer is, customers exchanging information and facts about a product, brand, or company via the internet is known as viral marketing. It's an extremely successful kind of marketing that helps spread the news to friends, family, and other people, resulting in a boom in business. Question number 29, what is inbound marketing? The answer is, inbound marketing is the process of assisting potential customers in finding your business. This often happens before the customer is ready to buy, yet initiating contact early can lead to brand preference and, eventually, leads an income. Content marketing, blogs, events, search engine optimization, SEO, social media, and other types of poll marketing are all used in inbound marketing to raise brand exposure and attract new business. Question number 30, what is preemptive advertising? The answer is, Preemptive advertising simply involves giving the customer what they desire but not in a typical way. This advertising strategy involves understanding the needs and intent of your customers, then providing messaging that helps to solve those needs. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.